surviving your first day in BJJ, what you should be doing. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Coach Tom, I'm here with Reese. Let's have a look at what to do to survive our first day in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now, obviously, you're going to survive. No one's going to be dying on their first day of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I hope. Um, but, guys, at the end of the day, this is a real contact sport. And uh, at least in my gym, when you come and start training, you're rolling right away. Okay, because if you can't hack rolling now, you probably aren't going to be able to hack Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because it is an applied real sport like boxing or wrestling or anything else like that. I think when it comes to surviving your first day in Jiu Jitsu guys, there's a whole bunch of stuff like etiquette and gi or no gi and I have other videos on that. But the most common question I get from beginners is they've finished the technique part of class, they learn how to bow or not bow or call a coach, coach or professor or whatever you have to call them. But then they go to roll and they say, but I don't know anything. What am I meant to be doing? Here's a quick and easy guide. Be on top. When you start wrestling, you're probably going to start from your knees and you're going to slap hands like this, like most gyms, you start from your knees and you slap hands and give like punch knuckles, right? And so once you've done that, then you're wrestling, okay? When you're getting tapped, you tap three times on your partner, right? And try to verbalize it too, say, yep, tap, 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 okay? And then once you tap, you slap hands, pound your knuckles, you start again, okay? If in doubt, try to be on top. Okay, so if I put Reese on his back now like this, okay, as a beginner, you are going to likely not have a gi yet. You might be either in no gi stuff like I'm wearing today, or you might be in just street clothes, whatever you're allowed to wear for your first session. But here's the deal. If you're not wearing a gi, do not grab your partner's gi. It's like a massive skill uh, thing where it really nullifies a lot of what he has and he can't pull on your shirt. He doesn't want to tear your shirt off or anything like that. So once you're on top, that is step one. Step two is to try to get past his legs. The easiest way, so you don't get triangled a million times on your first night, is to try to get two hands under the legs, like this. And although you can do this with 50 steps, you basically just want to do one thing get past his legs, okay? Now, I would not suggest learning the technique like that, but on your first night, that's all you need to know. Now that we're here on the top, we wanna get better than where we are. Do not let these legs come in underneath you. If you leave a space, he will put you back into a guard or a half guard. We are always trying to keep something in his hip, a knee or a hand. Now we can look at getting to mount. So, once I'm in mount like this, as a beginner, this is as good as tapping. Because if I can get high on him and start punching, you know, I'm going to win this fight, okay? So this is a really good position to be in. People are going to be trying to roll you off, okay? But if you can take them out, the only better position than here is if your partner starts to roll, okay? And you can get your hooks in and you can take their back like this with your hooks in, okay? This would be even better, but not quite as good for striking sometimes. Now let's talk about some realities of your first night in Jiu-Jitsu you're probably going to get your ass whooped a bit. Now, like, if it's a good gym, like in my gym, unless you come in with an attitude problem, like, uh, people should treat you really nicely. You know, beginners in gyms, I think, should be treated even better than experienced people in gyms because, you know, they're kind of a bit helpless and defenseless, so to speak. So, when you're underneath, here's the deal. Whether you're underneath side control or mount or any of these positions, you guys want to stay tight. Ideally, you'd be so tight, you'd be like a ball like this. But if they're on your belly, like if you're in my side control race, I want to keep my elbows tight and my hands near my neck. Okay? I gotta stay tight like this. I cannot afford to start getting opened up. He'll attack my arms, he'll attack my neck. I'm in big trouble here. Okay? So what I want to do is I always want to stay tight. And then when I can, I either want to get him back between my legs, okay, using a hip escape. Or, if you're strong enough, you might be able to roll them and end up on top, but it's not the most long-term sustainable strategy to using strength, okay? So don't rely just on strength. But have fun. Don't forget to breathe when you first start rolling, you know? Like, I know you say, well, I'm not gonna die. Of course I'm gonna breathe. Yeah, but consciously breathe, because whether you're competing or rolling for the first time, most of the time you're not gonna breathe too well. So breathe and relax. The most important thing is you don't win any rounds. It doesn't matter. Who you tap, they're your new buddies. You're not gonna have fights with those guys. They're your training partners. You are there to help them, they are there to help you. What you wanna focus is on learning. So don't quit, you know, stay until the end. Unless you're throwing up, stay on the mat. But 
try to stay calm of mind so you know the mistakes you made. Because I think your first couple of months of Jiu Jitsu is learning how to not make mistakes. Then you start learning how to actually do techniques, okay? So there you have it guys, a survival guide for your first night or day in Jiu Jitsu. I think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is this wonderful sport full of incredible people and some incredible both uh, benefits both on and off the mat, you know, in the fighting arena per se. And so good on you for taking the first steps to get started. Hopefully this will make your first night of rolling a little easier, but just take it slow. If you've got questions, ask your coach, ask other students, but have fun, train hard, drill hard, roll hard, and you'll be a whooping butt in no time, and maybe you're gonna be the next champion out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'm Coach Tom. See you next time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high-level jiu-jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.